All right, so we're gonna be checking the oil on the truck on the car right now. Right here. Checking our dipstick. Pull that out. Checking down on our lines. Looking good. Wipe that off. Send that back. Come over here and check our air filter. Unclipping these clips. Pulling back. Checking that out. Make sure it's not too bad. This one's looking fine. Just and we're gonna come over here and check out our line, our belts. Make sure these aren't cracked. Look at the cracks and imperfections in these. Hoses, feeling coolant hoses, making sure those aren't bubbling or anything like that. Feeling these are okay. Look for anything broken. It's looking good. Come over here, check our coolant reservoir level. This one is a little bit low, so we are going to top this one off. And since it's a cold fill, we're looking to go right between those lines. Washer reservoir, pretty full. We're gonna top that off though. Just make sure you have washer fluid in there. Brake fluid reservoir, come over here. Just checking out the level on that. Same thing as the coolant. We got a max level. Looking okay on that. Got the color level of it. A little bit dark. Check the mileage on that. Should be okay. Then we're gonna raise the vehicle up. Check the back of the brake pads. Check the measurements on them. Try to see. That's good. You can also check from the front. So from right in here. We just measure it with that stick right there. Checking the pad. It's level. See if it's fitting in there. Well, so let's just know it's 10 millimeters on that brake pad. <coughs> We can look at the rest of the axle, a few things on that. Check the inside pad because they do wear differently sometimes. That one's actually a little bit bigger, so but we're good on that with 11, 11 millimeters on that one. Checking right there on the pad. From underneath the vehicle, we're looking for any leaks or anything like that. You do have splash shields in the way of a few things, so you can come back here and take peeks. Looking at the axles, make sure that. CV boots, if they have CV boots, they're not torn. Otherwise, if they have U-joints, you make sure there's no leaks out of those. Oil pan, we're looking okay out there. Some dirt, no leaks or anything like that. Come to this side. Axle and CV boots, you're looking for tears in the boots. Grease would be flinging around, but it's pretty clean. These are happy. Also looking at shocks. Shocks are fine on the front. Back a little bit. Transmission. Looking for any leaks back on the transmission pan. We're okay there. T case, same thing. Looking for any leaks on that. Happy there. Going down the exhaust, also looking for any rust, um, rust holes, anything that's been damaged, some impacts a lot of the times. Coming back further, following exhaust. Looking at rear differential. Looking for any leaks on any seals. Back here, same thing. Getting the CVs and things like that. Shocks, looking for wetness on the shock. These are dry. Wetness is, it'll start to come down here. You'll see a, an oil residue pulling down to these. Pods, these are fine. Coming to this side, same thing. Shocks look okay. Pretty happy. <laughs>